What's up guys, welcome back. And remember last week we built this little thing right here and I said it was pretty easy build. Yeah, Engine DIY said, oh, you think that was easy? Hold on, I'm gonna send you the same one, but the harder version. <laughs> All right, there you go. I'm gonna build the same engine right here. Let's get to it. This one's a lot harder and it's got more pieces and it's also spins. So let's go, let's have at it. Time for fun. There it is, all its glory. Let's get the table set up for this one. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Stig project. And once again, we're gonna be building this WS15 engine, but the more complicated version of it. As with all these models, everything that you need comes included, the tooling, the hardware, everything is there for you. You can find all of these models on EngineDIY.com. I will leave the link and all the pertinent information down below in the description. But this particular model is once again a WS15. This is a 3D printed model, and it the price range on this is around $249. As per usual, I have my own set of backup tools because I tend to break the tools that come with the kit. <laughs> That's my own fault though. As mentioned in the previous video or the other model video, this engine is equipped on the aircraft called the J-20, the Mighty Dragon. And from my understanding, this is going to be the Chinese version of a stealth fighter. This was a fairly simple engine to put together, lots of fun as well. The instructions are well written and all the pieces are well manufactured or I should say well 3D printed. The first portions that you see me put together is the low pressure compressor, the fan basically, and then we're gonna install it within the case. There's also some gearing that's gonna attach to a motor because this thing does spin. Up next, we have a high pressure compressor and its shaft, and we're gonna stack the blades and all the stages. A little fact for you, this is actually how they build real engines. They will build them and stack the stages vertically. Once the process gets to a certain stage, then they will turn the engine or the whole unit horizontally and proceed on attaching all the sections. After putting together the low and high pressure compressors together, now we move on to the combustion section. This is where you're gonna have your fuel nozzles as well as your igniters. And of course, never fails with all my builds, the supervisor has to be watching and judging. final portion of this build is putting together the high and low pressure turbine modules, which were quite simple. There weren't many stages to this one. And then the final piece is going to be the actual motor itself that's going to spin this thing. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. No, nope, not this one, that's still a tiny one. There you go, the big one. There's your comparison. I know, it looks odd without the exhaust portion of it, I guess, I don't know. I guess it's a little bit different, but well, at least I got it spinning the right, was spinning the right way. <laughs> pretty cool, guys, pretty cool. Nice. Liking it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, there you go. Well, that's about it, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And here's another quick little comparison between the earlier model or the one I built last week and to the new one right here. You'll see the slight little differences. By the way, the smaller model is a bit cheaper than this one. If I remember correctly, I think it's about $90. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next project. Later.